Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. This is Agnes and Wendy in Miskatonic Museum uh, going through my Dunwich progression campaign. This is where I'm only taking cards from two cores and the Dunwich legacy cycle. Uh, if you want to see my deck upgrades, you can look in the links below. Let's go ahead and get started. Drawing up opening hands, here's Agnes. We are looking for uh, things that can get clues. As is a very clue heavy scenario. So, two, three, four, five. A draw to the flame or a right of seeking would be excellent here. Oh, we got the draw to the flame and the right of seeking and the Peter Sylvester. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to keep this whole hand. This is like everything I'd be looking for, even a nice border protection for that uh, when I do the draw to the flame. So, that is great. All right. So Wendy has a little bit more freedom uh, in what she can get, but she still needs to get some clue stuff. So let's see what she gets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Looking for a newspaper. Looking for a flashlight. Obviously allies. Emergency caches. We got Wendy's amulet. Do we throw back Wendy's amulet? Uh, well, we can play a lot. We can get lots of uh, money actually, which would be kind of nice. If we play Wendy's Amulet straight up. And the flashlight, we'll take away the sneak attack. We don't need to do any attack. We're actually going to keep all of this and just go like straight up, get lots of money. Okay. And then we got Henry Armitage. Okay. Well, we've got the resources. We've got the ways to make money. <laughs> I'm not actually sure that this is a good plan. It just seems fun. And sometimes I just do what's fun. All right, we'll look at the act and agenda. Here's the agenda first. Restricted access. Dr. Armitage has given the university's Latin translation of the Necronomicon to his associate, Carol Walston, the curator of the Miskatonic University Museum. Worried that someone might still be after the book, you have gone to the museum to recover it. Forced, when the haunting horror enters play, attach a set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it, or add one resource if Shadow Spawn is already attached. The Shadow Spawn is here, and uh, I'm not going to actually attach it to it. I'm just going to leave it up there and just add, add uh, resources to it. But Shadow Spawn remains attached to Haunting Horror if it enters the void. That's what happens when it gets defeated. Um, Haunting Horror gets plus one fight, plus one health, and plus one of aid for each resource on Shadow Spawn. If there's at least three resources on Shadow Spawn, Haunting Horror gets massive. It gets bigger every time it comes back, and you can't really defeat it. Kind of a horror trope, I suppose. And this is a five doom threshold. And then we have Act 1A. Finding a way inside. Unfortunately, the entrance to the museum is locked at this late hour. The security guard is visible through the building's front windows, oblivious to his surroundings. Perhaps you can find a way to get his attention and convince him to let you in. So we're looking at two, two clues. The location that we're on is the museum entrance. It's a three shroud, two clues. Investigators of the mu uh, museum entrance cannot gain resources and it has an action to resign. Yeah, how important can a book really be anyway? Uh, so the fact that we can't gain resources is why it was so critical to me to find clue getting stuff. Um, so that I can get these two clues and uh, and move on in. And the reason that's a thing is because if you look at the museum halls, it says the entrance to the museum halls is locked. You cannot move into the museum halls. Museum entrance gains action test five fight to attempt to break down the door to the museum. If you're successful, immediately and uh, advanced Act 1B. So we can either break down the door with a fight check or a combat check, or we can uh, try to find clues. And it's not realistic for either of them with their one combat and their two combat to beat that check. So um, Agnes is going to, Action 1, spend three resources to bring out Peter Sylvester. Okay. Action 2 is going to play Drawn to the Flame. 
It's nice to see Agnes. She's been so so combaty. It's nice to see her actually doing things to get a clues. She'll draw a encounter card, and she gets visions of future past. That's five willpower. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. So we're not too worried about this. So we'll just let it go. We're not going to commit fearless to this because we want to pass with fearless to heal horror. So we're just going to get five v five. Minus four, so we're going to discard the top four cards of her deck, and which will be Forbidden Knowledge, Fire Axe, Water Protection, and Shriveling. All fighting stuff, which actually is probably okay since we're not really planning on fighting the Hunting Horror too much, although we'll have to fight it at some point, I think. So she gets two clues, and then we will spend the two clues right away to advance the act. If the investigator spent clues to advance, you find the window nearest the guard and tap it loud enough to get his attention. He gives a startled jump and shifts open the window. What do you want? He asks timidly. You explain the situation to him and tell him he's in grave danger. He rarely opens the, the front door to the museum, shaking his head. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Choose an investigator to control the set-aside Adam Lynch asset. Reveal, reveal the museum halls. Advance to Act 2A, Night at the Museum. So, it's Adam Lynch. He's a uh, one health, one sanity. He doesn't take up an ally slot. Um, he has double action ability on the security. Treat the double action ability on the security office as if, as if it were a single action ability. Enforcement, Adam Lynch will be play, remove him from the game, and add one tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. This is why um, I, you know, you have to protect him and there are things that will hurt him. So I'm going to give him to Agnes as she's probably better at protecting than uh, just because she's got words of protection and stuff like that. Um, and now protecting him becomes like the most key thing. The reason I prefer to do the combat check but it's harder to do is because you don't get an ally to protect until later in the game if you do that. But uh, there was just no way that either of them was going to do that. So for her third action, Agnes is going to move into the museum halls, which is a two shroud, zero clue location. Museum halls are connected to each copy of exhibit hall, which there are none in play. It's in a deck that we had to create. It's up here. Action, investigators in the museum hall spend two clues as a group with the top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. All right, so Agnes is here. So, Wendy's just going to move forward. She's going to play uh, two emergency caches to make bank. And then she can play her amulet next turn and play them again. I don't know if that's actually a good idea, but it is what we're going to do. Well, it depends on what we draw for Mythos. Okay, it's upkeep. Agnes will get lucky. Pretty good. And a resource. She's close to being able to get her right of seeking into play at least. And then Wendy will get backstab. Okay. And a resource. She's at 12 resources. One of five doom. And Agnes will get. Curse Luck. You put Curse Luck into play in your third area. You get negative one skill value during your skill test. After you succeed as a skill by one or more, discard Curse Luck. It's not too bad. She's going to be testing her right of seeking at uh, a nice six. So hopefully she can clear Curse Luck. Oh, here we go. The Haunting Horror already. It's going to spawn on Wendy. Okay, so at the start of the enemy phase, you have to reveal a random token from the cast bag. If the reveal token has one of those symbols, ready the hunting horror. At least play, and place it into the void. Well, that's unfortunate that it came out so quickly. Alright, so Wendy is going to go first. She's going to evade. She is at 4v2. It's probably okay. Plus 
one. It's evaded. Okay, action two, she's going to spend two resources to play Wendy's Amulet, and then she's going to spend two more resources to get Dr. Hemi Armitage into play so that we have Soak in case the Hunting Horror decides to attack her. Okay, so now Agnes is going to, we're going to move into the administrative office and see what's there. All right, it is a two shroud, four clue location. You cannot investigate the administration office while you have four or fewer cards in your hand. Uh, means we're not gonna be investigating right away. I actually meant to go to the security office, but whatever. All right, um, so that was action one. Let me put the four clues there. So the reason the card restriction is a problem is because she has to play her right of seeking and that will take her down to three cards. Um, so we will take a resource and then we'll play four for right of seeking. Actually, it's not a problem because we wouldn't be able to do it this turn anyway. So we got a right of seeking with uh, three charges on it. All right, so now it is the end of the enemy phase, or at the beginning of the enemy phase, we have to reveal a token to see if the hunting horror is going to mess with us. It does not. So it readies afterward. And it goes on Wendy, who's just happy to just keep evading it. Let Agnes go do Agnes things. Okay, it's upkeep. Agnes will get the Heirloom of Hyperborea and a resource. And Wendy will get Sneak Attack. So she could defeat the Hunting Horror if she wanted. We don't, well, actually, she couldn't. It would do two damage to it of the three. All right. Okay. Agnes gets an arcane barrier attached to your location. As an initial cost to move into or out of attached locations has four willpower. If successful, discard arcane barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effect of the move or discard the top five cards of your deck. Not too big a deal, and putting it here is not a, a big thing. And Wendy will get Passage into the Veil. Test three willpower. If this test has plus two, uh, the plus has plus two difficulty if the haunting, haunting horror is at your location. If you fail, you must either discard the top five cards of your deck or take one direct damage and deal one damage to each of your allies. So we're going to fail this. Um, but we can discard the top five cards of our deck. Um, actually, we don't mind taking a direct damage to each of our allies. Yeah. So that's probably better. Um, we have no real way of boosting this, so... So we are at, uh, we're going at uh, 4v5. Alright, we fail, so we'll take a damage to ourselves and to the Armitage. I don't think we're in that much of a risk though. He's not really protecting us from cards like that. All right, uh, Wendy will go ahead and evade the Hunting Horror. Minus four, she fails. All right, action. We could pitch a card to redraw. I will go ahead and pitch, uh, if we pitch a card, then it's going to be on our discard pile. That's okay. We'll pitch a sneak attack to redraw. So, fill up by two. Okay, 
same. Negative four again. All right, we are gonna try to evade again. one. So he is evaded. Now we could sneak attack him to do the two damage. And I don't see why we wouldn't do that. So we'll go ahead and spin two and we'll play the sneak attack off of the top card of her discard pile, which is sneak attack. It does two damage to him and if we sneak attack on the bottom deck. It doesn't kill him, which is what we want. We, we don't want to kill him yet. But um, it does make it easier for later on. Potentially. All right. Uh, so that was her turn. Basically, you know, my entire goal with her is just to keep him busy. <laughs> All right. Agnes will draw a card so she can get her hand up. Okay, she's got the guts. That's nice. All right. Uh, and, of course, there's the issue of losing your turn if you fail the, uh, the right of seeking or if you draw a spooky token. But there's not that many spooky tokens in the bag. I'm just gonna do it and just see. Okay. So we are at six v two for the investigate. You know what? Actually, I am gonna draw a card. I'm gonna draw a card. We need to see if we can get more cluing cards from her. So we're gonna draw a card. We get. Flashlight, excellent. That is a cluing card. All right, and then we'll uh, investigate. We're actually at five v two because of the curse lock. We'd like to succeed by two or more. Okay, that's cultist minus one. If you fail, you do not fail, so we're okay. And we got the to token which ends our turn, so it's a good thing we drew a card, and we'll get. Two clues. So now we have enough clues to, to you know open a new location. All right, now we gotta draw a token to see if the hunting horror attacks Wendy. He does not, but he does ready and engage her. Man, where is uh, my allies? It's because I kept the emergency caches like a silly person. Okay. Oh, and uh, Agnes succeeded by two, so she got rid of the curse block. Sure All right, it's time for upkeep. Agnes will get the Holy Rosary. And a resource. And Wendy will get, look what I found. And a resource. Okay. Well, I mean, he's got a flashlight and look what I found. So we're, we should be able to get some clues. All right. We're at three of five doom. And Agnes gets Beyond the Veil. How many cards does she have in her deck? I think we're going to spend one and use Water Protection on this. Taking a horror. So beyond the veil, when you run out of cards in your deck, you take 10 damage. Okay, it surges into another curse luck. Better for her to get curse luck than anyone else, I think. Okay, and then um, with her willpower checks. And then uh, Wendy will get a twist of fate, reveal a token from the bag. Three. So if it's a, she takes one damage. Okay, let's put damage on her. It's fine. It's horror that you worry about because of her weakness. So her damage is probably okay. All right. Uh, Wendy's going to try to evade. Actually, maybe she doesn't. Uh, that's fine. 
Wendy, uh, let's have Agnes go. Agnes is going to... Take a resource. Spend two resources to put out our Holy Rosary. Still has enough cards in her hand to investigate. And she will investigate. Oh, I, yeah. Um, she'll investigate using Ray of Seeking. She's at 6-7-V-2. Much down here. There's a rosary up here. More interesting. Actually, 6v2 because of the curse block. Okay, that is minus one. It does end her turn, but she gets rid of her curse block and she gets two clues. But yeah, now we can we can ignore the security office, I think, and just start putting locations in play. Wendy will uh, try to evade the, hunt, the hunting horror. Up by two. Okay. Minus three. So we fail. We're going to evade again. Minus four. Okay, you might be wondering why I'm, I'm not pitching cards to redraw. I really don't uh, need any of these cards in my discard and I want to play them. And right now, it's not a big deal if she gets hit. So. Just costing me actions and she's just trying to keep it busy, as I've said. All right, that is minus one. So we do succeed. Now it is the enemy phase. We see if he re-engages and hits her. A lot of spooky tokens in the bag, so okay. He does engage her, and this upkeep Agnes will draw. Okay, internal injury. Okay, she's going to be taking a direct damage, and Wendy will take passage into the veil. This is going to kill Armitage, unfortunately. Wait, did I do? No. Eh, no. Just kidding. That's going to be Agnes's card. But uh, <laughs> Wendy gets to draw. She gets a double or nothing. And a resource. Okay. And Agnes should have gotten a resource as well. All right, now we get the passage into the veil. And three willpower. It's plus two difficulty if the hunting horror is at your location. It's not, so. And we don't mind actually choosing the discard option anyway. Alright, so. We're uh, at seven. Oh, and heal, Peter healed his horror. Auto fail. So we're just going to discard the top five cards of our deck. Maybe try to loop it through. Because, yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, we have to. We don't want to kill off Peter. That would be terrible. All right. So we one, two, three, four. Oh, we lost our memory. That's nice. Five. Now, this is, a, this is going to be a potential problem if we get beyond the veil. We're going to be hosed, so at this point I kind of want to just move through my deck as quickly as possible. Alright, and then when we will get Obscuring Fog, which is a nice blank. Let's raise the shroud of the location that we're not going to get things at. So I feel like Agnes will move in, put a location into play and uh, probably move into it. And then yeah, I should take the dark damage from the return on Drew, but that's probably okay. All right. 
So Agnes will move in. She's going at 74 versus the Arcane Barrier. I kind of actually would be okay with failing it. Just let's get through her deck fast now. But probably won't fail it. No, we don't. So the Arcane Barrier is gone. Okay, she's going to spend two clues to put an exhibit hall into play. We're just going to put them all down here and know that they're all connected. Um, and then she will move into the exhibit hall. Which is... Forced. After you fail the skill test while investigating this location, you discard an asset you control. There's two clues. I should have put another location into play, actually. Because it gives Wendy something to do, but whatever. Wendy is going to try to evade the hunting horror. Up by two. Oh, and uh, Agnes takes a, a direct damage. From uh, her intel injury. Did I put a doom on the agenda? I feel like I missed putting a doom on the agenda. So we'll say we're at 405. Hopefully I'm not uh, hurting myself there. Okay, plus one. The horror is evaded. And then she will spend two resources for a flashlight. And then uh, she will draw a card. We will get an ally. A lone wolf, because she needs more resources, apparently. <laughs> All right, now we got to, uh, we'll do the hunting horror to see if he readies and attacks her. Minus two, he does not. But he does ready. I'm going to do upkeep. I guess we'll get arcane studies. We have resources, could be useful, I suppose. Alright, I had a momentary lapse of what I was doing, so I had to restart. Um, or I had to rewind. Uh, we're getting. Uh, we, have, we advance the agenda. From the shadows of the museum hall, the terrible creature slithers forth, long and serpentine, propelled by black, leathery wings. If haunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. So we're adding a doom to it. If haunting horror is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and void for haunting horror, and spawn in the museum hall if visible. Shuffle the encounter discard pile. So it is in play, so we don't have to worry about that. It's worth noting that there's a rules thing here that if it, that um, because the forced here about attaching this the uh, shadow spawn, which is up here, and I've I just don't want to carry it around with it, but it is attached. Um, that if if it is the back of the agenda that spawns the hunting horror, um, that the forced effect here on the front isn't in place, so it doesn't take place. Uh, so you don't actually attach the shadow spawn to it in that case. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't actually, that's technically the rules, but it doesn't seem like the intent to me, so I always attach it when it's spawned, even if it's the back of the agenda. Uh, so I just find it more fun and interesting. All right, we are now looking at agenda 2A, shadows deepen. The shadows in the museum grow and become darker. As the shadows lengthen and shift, they begin to suggest the sinewy body of an uncanny creature darting in the periphery of your awareness, and as the same forced. Oh, you know what? When I advanced the act, I guess I didn't actually show the uh, the new uh, act. So we'll go. The, the new act that we're do working on is Necronomicon is being kept in the restricted hall somewhere in the museum. Adam barely knows his way around and gives a startled jump at every creak of the old building. I just started last week, he explains. 
What sort of trouble do you say was going on? You haven't the heart to give him the full story. Objective, if an investigator enters the exhibit hall, restricted hall at bands. So, we are looking for the restricted hall. Okay, now we're doing encounters. Agnes gets the uh, testified willpower for each point you fail by. Describe the top part of your deck. Wouldn't mind going through a deck pretty fast right now. Make me feel safer. We're at 7v5 though, so we're probably not failing. Negative one, we pass. Wendy will get the arcing barrier. Not ideal for this location. So Agnes is going to clear her internal internal injury and then investigate using Ray Seeking. We're up by a lot. 7v2. These final these two clues. one. She's got two clues. And she stops taking damage. Alright. We don't have enough actions to get in and open up a new location, so we'll have to do that later. Uh, Wendy will continue to just try to evade. We don't care about playing Lone Wolf, so we could pitch Lone Wolf for this. Uh, it's redraw. We're up by two. Zero. Painting horror is evaded. We're just going to keep drawing to try and find allies. So draw a card. We'll get the newspaper quite good for this scenario. So we'll spend a resource and put the newspaper into play. Okay. See if the hunting horror attacks her. Uh, auto fail means he does ready and attack her, right? Yep. So it's bound to happen at one point. Okay, so she takes damage in a horror. We'll put the horror on Henry Armitage and she'll take a third damage. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Next time we can just kill Armitage though. Now for upkeep, Agnes will get shriveling. So if we need to take out the hunting horror, we can. And a resource. Wendy will get lucky. That was useful. And a resource. Okay. We are at two of seven doom. Agnes will get locked door, goes in location with no clues. There are no clues in play, so we'll just put it up here. Museum entrance. And okay, we get slithering behind you. If the hunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. Okay. It's fine. Uh, if it's not, then these are should spawn at your location. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Adding a doom to it's not a big deal. At some point, maybe we'll murder it, but the Doom, uh, like, I feel like we're actually making pretty good progress. We're potentially making decent enough progress. Okay. So Agnes is going to, I think, take over duties of uh, evading the hunting horror for now. She's going to uh, move in to the Arcane Barrier. She's at 7 before the Arcane Barrier. One, it's gone. And now she is up here. She will spend two clues. Put an exhibit hall into play. And she'll spend another two clues to put 
another exhibit hall into play. So we'll just put this one far left. All right. So it's Wendy's turn. She'll evade the hunting horror. We have Lucky, we have you pitch a card, so we're up by two. Alright, zero. Evaded. Now I need to probably take over these duties. She's going to move in to the exhibit hall. So this is after you enter this location, lose all of your remaining actions and immediately end your turn or your location with plus two agility. That's no good. But at least we got that one out of the way. Zero victory points for that one. Okay, so let's see if the hunting horror decides to attack Agnes. Upkeep. Agnes will get an emergency cash and a resource. Wendy draws another double or nothing and a resource. And now we are at four doom because the two on the hunting horror. And Agnes will draw Beyond the Veil, which surges. It's a, this is a real problem because she's got a thin deck left, and a lot of things could kill her at this point. So we're just going to have to go fast. Um, and then she draws, fortunately, a locked door is a nice blank. She put it on the administrative office. And then Wendy will get pushed into the beyond. You have to choose a shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck. You discard the top three cards of your deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. Oh, sadly, uh, Henry Armitage is a story asset. We're going to do the newspaper. Alright, just grant the top three cards on this deck. She gets Flashlight, Will to Survive, and Leo DeLuca. Now that we want to go for speed, I kind of feel like I want to get rid of the Hunting Horror so that Agnes can also help with getting with the clue getting. Not yet. Okay, Wendy, uh, Agnes will do her evade first because I just want to make sure that we're okay with that. We are up by two. She's evading. She can buy Lucky Bell. Okay, that's my three. But we're going to go ahead and spend one to be lucky. And he is evaded. Where is he? There he is. And Agnes will draw a card. Which actually, drawing cards may not be the thing we want to do right now. She's got her painkillers. It's fine. Then she's going to move in and check out this exhibit. Which is... Forest, after you enter this location, discard two cards at random from your hand. It is a four shroud, two clue location. She's going two cards at random from her hand. She's discarding Heirloom of Arborea and Guts. I'll be okay with that. All right. So now Wendy's going to come in and start working on getting those clues. 
So uh, Agnes will spend two resources to play a flashlight. Wendy will move. Oh, after you discard this, that after you enter that location, she's gonna have to discard two cards of car at random from her hand. Well, that's uh, that's less than ideal. Well, she'll just do it. She discards. Look what I found and Lone Wolf. So look what I found being the top card of her discard pile and uh, what we can use to get those two clues. So it works out. All right, so we'd like to get Look What I Found off of the top of her deck, but we'll see. We're gonna use a, a charge of flashlight. So she's investigating at, does she have a lucky in her hand? She does actually, but then that would, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're uh, at up by one on this check. Zero. Okay, so she gets the clue. Alright, that's the end of the turn. Now we gotta see if the hunting horror what it's gonna do. It would be actually I, it's kind of okay if it comes in and attacks them. It does. So does it have a prey? I can make him attack whoever he wants. Um we will have him attack Agnes. She can take damage. She'll put a horror on Peter. Alright. Now Agnes draws. Wendy will draw a crit chill. This will kill probably uh, Armitage. This is probably fine. Okay. We're at 44 on this. Three, so Armitage is into her discard. All right, uh, we're at. We had a doom. I think we forgot to add a doom. So we're at five of seven doom. I think Agnes is going to end up trolling this guy. She's going to evade him. At do we have any icons to pitch here? We're at four v two. Wendy doesn't really have an icon to throw. Or 4v2. She gets an auto fail. Okay, she's gonna evade again at 4v2. That's minus three. And evading again at 4v2. Another one. Okay, so that was a wasted turn. For going fast, I'm doing a terrible job at this. All right, uh, Wendy is going to investigate. I think she is just going to investigate natural at 3v4. Okay, it's minus three, so she's at zero v four. She will spend one for Lucky, which goes at the bottom of her deck. And then she'll play, she'll spend two for, look what I found, off of the top of her deck, which goes under her deck and gets the last clue. She's got her two clues, so that's first action. Let's see. I think she just moves and opens up a new location and we just keep going and let Agnes. 
Agnes can put down the shriveling and blast him next turn. Yeah. All right. So she'll just move and spend two clues. So it's and then to put the new exit hall into play. Okay. Okay. So we have to do the test on the hunting horror, but it doesn't actually do anything. So, but we'll do it. Oh, Agnes should have healed the horror off of Peter. Okay, minus four does nothing, but it wouldn't have done anything anyway. Okay, then she'll take a horror on Peter and a damage on herself. And then we'll draw her upkeep. Agnes will get lucky with the card draw, which I'm regretting. And a resource. And Wendy will get amnesia. So she, she has to remove, she'll um, discard all but one card from your hand. Okay, well I guess we don't need this backstab. It's double or nothing. This backstab is going on the top of her deck, which is not awesome. She gets a resource. So I was going to play that will to survive, but I guess it didn't work out. Because now I don't know how I'm going to play that backstab. I guess I could go in and backstab the hunting horror, but we just need hunting horror. We just got to go faster. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We got uh, one doom left. And Agnes will get a twist of fate. We don't want the damage one. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is getting low. We do, we take a damage. And then Wendy. It is three if you fail with one action. Oh my gosh, she's always action. She's at 3v3. I don't know really what we can do about this, but actions. Minus two. She loses two actions. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, the first thing, let's deal with the hunting horror. So, Agnes is going to really be lucky because we would lose our resource which we need to play shriveling. We're going to try to evade. Minus one. Okay, it's evaded. Great. Then we will spend three to play shriveling. We'll just move the right seeking down here. It's about four charges. Okay, and then she'll show this guy. She's at five, six, seven to beat two. Plus one. All right, so he goes into the void. And we get some actions, some turns back. And that is Agnes's. Although she's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards from discard, but that's pretty okay. All right, Wendy has one turn. She's going to move into the exhibit hall, which is three shroud, four clues. After you fail a skill test while investigating this location, take one horror. So, and I got that backstab on top of her hand. <laughs> it's no good. Okay. Uh, maybe Agnes can come in and help with that too. All right. So we advance. No, we don't advance. First of all, we get upkeep. Agnes will get a delve too deep. You know, I, I don't mind Agnes getting defeated or whatever. The thing is, is that if Adam Lynch goes, then we put that tablet in the back. And that really stinks. Okay. A manual dexterity for Wendy. That's nice. Still got loads of resources. I guess we can backstab 
guy if he shows up. And we'll get, I guess we'll get pushed into the beyond. Well, this is actually terrible because, not because we're going to lose the right of seeking. Let's see, he'll, he, he'll this poor, but it's discarding three cards, which puts a super big clock on our, on us here. All right, so she discards. We put it shuffled into Rife Seeking. So we got it, so we take two horror. But I don't know that it matters too much. We'll put the two horror on here. So she's probably gonna have to resign, which is unfortunate. Because we get a tablet for the bag, which is like, it makes this whole campaign so much harder. Okay, when you get slithering behind you, if the hunting horror is in play, I have one zoom to it, otherwise, spawn at your location and shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, well. He comes out of the void. He has, we put a resource on the, this, so he is now a, what he gets, is it three, four, three? We fight one health and one invade. I don't mind him being here, but we have to evade him in order to get clues. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Wendy will evade him. He's a three. She'll commit main to dexterity. Up by two. Up by. She's actually four, five, six. Take two. Take this one. He is evaded. She draws a card, which is newspaper. Okay, well that is pretty great. So we'll spend one to play newspaper. All right, so now we'll investigate using flashlight, which reduces the shroud to one. We are at five because of the newspaper, because we don't have any clues. We'll commit double or nothing. So we're at five V2 to get two clues on this. And we have no redraw, sadly. That's what it is. Okay, minus two. So we succeed. We get the two clues. I think we're just gonna have to worry about getting out of here. So I don't think Agnes can get a clue in there. No, she can, but lucky. She can also go in there and shrivel hunting horror. Wendy would be going at four B three to beat it. Can Agnes get clues there though? She might be able to. She can move and just start setting up, I guess. All right, Agnes is going to move here. She's going to uh, play an emergency cache and another emergency cache to get six resources. And this will at least allow her to potentially play um, Arcane Studies. All right. Um, so let's see if the Hunting Horror hits Wendy. It's going to be hard for her to evade, actually. But I don't know what else we do. Minus two, it does not, it does engage her. Now we're at upkeep, and Agnes will get a fire axe, and resource. She's got three cards left in her draw deck. Wendy will get quick thinking. But she might not get the extra action, but going up by two is probably okay. Well, it's not great. This call is being a three. Okay, and then Agnes will draw. Okay, lose an action for each you fail by, going by three intellect. 
Hmm. How action, valuable her actions actually are. She can't get out of here and resign. Okay. So she's at 2v3. And she pulls. Okay, and negative 1. So she would lose 2 actions. She could lucky. And maybe we do that. We'll spend 1 to be lucky. Which sadly will draw her a card. No, we're not going to do that. We'll just lose two actions. Hope that Wendy can evade. Okay, and then Wendy will get Obscuring Fog. Which means we're just not getting those clues. Okay. Uh, whew. No victory points for us. All right, Wendy will evade. She's at four. This will be five. This will be three. Oh, not double or nothing. <laughs> Those offer discard pile. Quick thinking. Five to be three. Skull, you fail. And we can't redraw. Evading again. Four to be three. We're up by one. Minus one. Okay. It is evaded. And then she will move here. Agnes R only has one action. She will spend two resources to play Arcane Studies, which will allow her to boost her intellect as needed. Okay, let's see if the Hunting Horror comes in and gets them. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to add a Doom last time, so it will advance this time. Definitely will advance. Okay, it does not, but it does ready. Alright, now the agenda advances. Okay, the hunting horror is in play. Add one doom to it. We'll do that. A creature does not relent pursuing you through the museum. Okay, and we get the the, the final act. In every shadow, the creature of the museum grows larger and more terrifying with each passing moment. Its body slithers from shadow to shadow, every corner of every room a potential hiding place for the hideous beast. Forced when hunting horror enters play, it's the same thing as the. Alright. And. Uh, actually, we should have done upkeep first, so. We're going to do that. Agnes gets a holy rosary, not useful. And. We get a perception. Or Wendy. And now we'll do the encounters. Stopped in the dark. The hunting horror is in play. It ready to engage and attacks each investigator at location. Otherwise, stopped in the dark gains surge. Okay, so it's going to attack both of them. Let's see, Peter, I don't remember when, but he'll take a horror and she'll take another damage. So she's only one damage away from being dead. And Wendy will take a damage and horror. Okay. Eesh. And then Wendy will get another Crip Chill. Uh, so, oh. Agnes has a painkiller. I did not realize that. Okay. Um, Agnes will just commit a uh, a holy rosary to this. So Wendy is up by one, which beats the skulls. So of 
plus one. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna have to get very lucky with uh, two cards left for Agnes um, and one damage left. This is dicey, but then we'll spend her two clues to put the next exhibit hall into play. Put it over here. Action two, she'll move into the exhibit hall. Okay, this is the, restri the uh, restricted hall. It's a three shroud, four clues, and while hunting horrors, this location it cannot be investigated. All right. So, and uh, we have to advance the act because we're in the, rest the restricted hall. So, when you enter the restricted hall, you find the curator of the museum lying in a pool of blood, his intestines strewn about in a grotesque display. Your stomach turns over and over, and you resist the urge to vomit. Whatever did this? It's still nearby. Search the encounter deck and discard pile, the void, and all player race the horror, and put it into play in the exhibit hall. Okay, and advance to Act 3A. This is Searching for the Tome. Somewhere in this area is the Alois Warmiest Latin translation of the Necronomicon. You must find it and escape while you can. If there are no clues to remaining, remaining in the exhibit hall, advance. So we've got to get these clues. And the hunting horror is here. While it is here, we cannot get clues. So I wish that I could pull off a backstab. Actually, <laughs> I can do this. Actually, I'm pretty sure. The top two events in Wendy's deck are Will to Survive and Backstab. So what she will do is she will spend three for Backstab and play it. And she will spend four for Will to Survive And then she does not have to draw, let's go at the bottom of her deck. She does not have to draw a chaos token. She is at four V three for the haunting horror and does three damage to it. Okay. And then she can't really punch it, unfortunately. So she'll just evade it. Her last action again, not pulling the token because it will survive. Okay, so Agnes moves in for her first action. For her second action, she will shrivel. We just need to do one more damage to it, but shrivel will do enough. She's at uh, five, six, seven to beat three, up by four. minus one. We don't fail, so it is gone. If it comes back, it'll be Shadow Swamp again. But we're kind of okay. We have to finish the next turn. So we walked in, we shriveled. And we're just going to go for broke now. Uh, we will investigate. We're at 2v... Three. We don't want to commit Wendy's perception because, you know. So we're 2v3. Um, we will spend on Arcane Studies uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to beat 3. So we're up by 4. Okay, that's minus 1. We don't fail. We do get the clue. So if we can survive one more Mythos phase and not spawn the Hunting Horror, we have a chance at, at, at finishing off. We just got to get those three clues next round. I don't know if they can do it, but we'll see. All right, it is time for upkeep. Agnes will draw another Arcane Studies, which she can commit. 
and a resource. Dear heavens, nothing that would discard her deck. <laughs> and then um, Wendy gets abandoned and alone. Remove her discard pile and she takes two direct horror. So it's okay. There was only like emergency caches and stuff in there anyway. And she gets a resource. I don't know. The problem is she doesn't have a card to pitch for retrying. But all right. And we put a Doom on the agenda. And Agnes will get Twist of Fate. Oh, she healed a horror from Peter. So this will kill Peter, but it's okay. It's probably okay. Uh, we'll go around and focus in the Chaos Bag. We're looking for a spooky symbol. Okay, it's minus one. So she takes a uh, damage. Yep, so that kills Peter. Please don't spawn the hunting horror. Wendy gets cursed luck. That is less than ideal. Okay. But nothing I can do about it. Alright, so if we if we go right now, she's investigating at a 5v3. She can get two clues. I'm gonna go ahead and commit the perception to this. Uh, because I want to try to beat the curse lock. We're actually at uh, three, wait, three, four, five, six, seven, six v three. I think before we do this, we'll actually draw a card. Okay, we get the sneak attack. So this is a card that we can use to pitch to get. So we'll commit the perception, and if we we can pitch the sneak attack to redraw. 6v3. No, yeah, 6v3. 0. Okay, so we do get the clue. And then we draw a card, which is Cat Burglar. That a lot of good you're doing me now. Alright, now she'll use her flashlight and she'll commit the sneak attack. And she can uh, pitch the cat burglar to redraw. So the, the newspaper's turned off now. So she's at 3v1, 4v1 with the cat with the uh, sneak attack committed. Oh, and the, the curse luck is gone. Hence the reason we're at 4v1. Okay, that's two. She's got the clue. And now it's time for Agnes, who's got to take this home with one card left in her deck. So we can't Lucky. Yeah, I don't know if, if Lucky can be a thing. But okay, if she if she Luckies and she draws her card, I think she does it after the, game, the scenario ends, but I'm not sure. All right, um, we will... We're at uh, two to beat three. She'll go three, four, five beat three and she'll commit this arcane studies to be six to beat three zero she got the last clue and they can advance All right at last you found the locked case containing the necronomicon the, the tome, over 800 pages in length, is filled with all manner of macabre imagery, formula, spells, prophecies, and descriptions of the creatures from beyond the threshold of space. Without a doubt, it is a dangerous book, but its secrets could be very useful. The investigators must decide. It's too dangerous to keep around, we have to destroy it, or it's too valuable to destroy, we have to keep it safe. We are going with R1, it's too dangerous to keep around. Uh, so, for victory points, we only got one, two... Three, and I wasn't brave enough to delve with Agnes <laughs> that last that last turn. She had one card in her deck. It was a guts. So wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. But uh, hey, you know, arcane studies came in useful. How about that? Well, that was uh, that was more tense than I intended. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, I hope I didn't make any major mistakes. I got a little bit confused there. I had some issues going on with uh, my recording setup that uh, that had me lose track of things a couple times. But uh, So hopefully it was okay. But uh, yeah. Anyway, enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Winging It.